Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's pretty ironic that this article has come out considering I just did a video. I don't know if you guys saw it. It didn't get a lot of views, but I made a video on Insomnia Games and how much I cannot stand that company and how that company was recently just exposed for a hazardous work conditions. And considering how it's all about ESG, it's all about diversity, equity, and inclusion. It's all about virtue signaling to the public. It has been caught doing absolutely asinine things. Now, Riot Games is another one of those companies. And I mentioned Ryan Ga Riot Games in that video. And now now, it's completely ironic that now this article has come out from Phantom Pulse with a headline that reads, Riot Games lays off 11% of employees to refocus as ESG money begins to run out. Ladies and gentlemen, Riot Games and many other companies like it are just a prime example of what happens when you decide to lose focus on the gamer and essentially just become another get well, go bro company. So let's get into this article, guys, from Phantom Pulse. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it it like the video to push this out into the youtube algorithm and consider subscribing to my manga channel the links are in the description box below in my link tree i would love to see you there so the article reads riot game ceo nicolo lauren announced layoffs of around a, a 530 employees representing 11 percent of the company's global workforce this difficult decision was made to shift riot's focus and make the company more financially sustainable after significant investments in new games and experiences failed to pay off as expected lauren explained and then Lauren, there's a quote here, Lauren, that says this decision means we're eliminating about 530 roles globally, which represents around 11% of our workforce with the biggest impact to teams inside, or I should say outside of core development. This also sadly means that we'll be saying goodbye to many talented colleagues and friends across all areas of Riot. Well, I honestly, I don't feel bad, okay? I don't feel bad for Riot because Riot has made certain decisions and choices that I am extremely against. A lot of people have a big problem with Riot as a company as a whole. They've been caught doing so many things. They've had lawsuits made against them. They've been exposed for almost as many things as Activision Blizzard, and yet they're still standing and they're dealing with this, and now they had to let go of 11% of their workforce. I don't feel bad at all. And the funny thing is, it's never the CEOs that ever get hurt by this. It's always the the lower guy right so all these esg decisions that these companies make it's never the people making those decisions that actually get affected by it that very rarely happens you know we saw that with bud light with the vp we saw her get let go you know quietly but we saw her let get let go but that very rarely is the case it usually is the bottom people that get let go for the decision of some idiot at the top the idiot at the top almost never gets let go unless it's so extreme of a bad decision that they have no choice but to send step down. It says Lauren took accountability as CEO for Riot overextending itself in recent years as it grew into a multi-game, multi-experience company, nearly doubling in size since 2019. Attempts were made to alter trajectory by reducing hiring and cost, but Lauren laid out more significant changes were still needed. The layoff center on non-core development teams. Severance packages were offered, well that's good, including a minimum six-month salary, health insurance continuation, bonus pay, and other transition support like job placement services. Lawrence stressed treating impacted employees with respect and grace during this difficult time. Well, that is a plus. I'm glad that they were at least able to give them a six month salary and health insurance continuation. So I will say props on that regard, but that doesn't make up for the fact of why you're letting them go in the first place. You definitely expanded way too much. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to get into the gaming aspect of Riot Games, but they definitely did way too much. They're a company that saw success, obviously, with League of Legends, and they decided to expand exponentially and it was just too much at once so that was a bad business decision but their whole ESG aspect of their company that shit is unbelievably annoying and it's very sickening overall because just like Insomnia Games Riot doesn't care about ESG at all deep down these companies don't give a shit they have some of the most toxic work environments they have some of the highest sexual harassment cases made against them and yet they want to preach about women are the future diversity equity inclusion all this nonsense we know you don't actually mean it you're just doing it because because it makes you look good in the public eye. So yeah, I'm glad that they're getting a severance package, but ultimately, Riot as a whole, the, the, the company as a whole, I don't care what happens to them. It says, today we're a company without a sharp enough focus. And simply put, we have put too many things underway. Some of the
the significant investments we've made aren't paying off the way we expected them to. Our costs have grown to the point where they're unsustainable, and we've left ourselves with no room for experimentation or failure, which is vital to a creative company like ours. All of this puts the core of our business at risk. Laurent reiterated Riot's commitment to League of Legends, Valorant, Team Fight Tactics, Wild Rift, and R&D exploration. Some teams will be reshaped for more effective development. Riot will also continue investing in esports and entertainment around its games. However, Riot is making adjustments to some R&D efforts and rethinking enterprise support levels, according to Lauren. Additionally, Legends of Runeterra will see team size reductions and a shift in focus to its Path of Champions PvE mode as a game hasn't been financially viable. Riot Forge will also be sunset after one more release. But as I've dug in with leaders across Riot, it's become clear to all of us that these changes aren't enough. We have to be able to focus our business and center our efforts on things that drive the most player value, the things that truly worth players' times. Unfortunately, this involving making changes in the area where we invest the most, our headcount. I want to be super clear about something. This is absolutely the last thing we ever want to do. A decision like this has a massive impact on people's lives and the culture of Riot. We're not doing this to appease shareholders or hit some quarterly earnings number. We've made the decision because it's a necessity. It's what we need to do in order to maintain a long-term focus for players. I think this part's complete nonsense. They're not doing this to not appease shareholders. Yeah, okay. I highly doubt that. You may not be doing this to hit some quarterly earnings number, but let's be real. Anytime you let go this massive of a workforce, it, it does have to do with shareholders to some extent. You can't say it's not. You have to look at the bigger picture, obviously. And the reason why you're trying to make the company sustainable is because you have shareholders. It is because people are investing in your company and they want to see a profit. So otherwise you wouldn't do this. You would just run the company into the ground. So obviously shareholders do have some sort of an effect on this. It says, Laurent apologized to the parting rioters and thanked them for their service and dedication. He recognized uncertainty created for remaining staff, but assured Riot's ambitions remain strong to emerge stronger and more focused on players. Oh, and to maybe save some of the ESG money to pay for the headcount fair and square. So it looks like Riot Games is suffering a little bit. Clearly, they're suffering from expanding way too fast. And that's very, very reminiscent of different companies that all did the same exact thing. But ultimately, they're going to try to do ESG no matter matter what they, that's how they're going to get their funding that's how they're going to get their money and even if the esg money does slowly start to run out they always will have legal legends to fall back on so they're going to start firing people even more after this i guarantee you the 11 percent is only the beginning they're probably going to fire another 10 percent or so in the future in the next year or two if things don't pan out and start looking better for them because at the end of the day if you're not bringing enough money to support the company you're going to have to start letting people go more and more and more and this is only the beginning beginning of what seems to be the slow and steady decline of Riot Games. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.